Section. Introduction. In this section, we will discuss the factors that impact the effectiveness of large language models, LLMs, in resolving GitHub issues under two different settings, with Oracle and without Oracle. When we use the with Oracle setting, we provide specific files that need modifications, making the GitHub issue resolution process more straightforward. Even though LLMs show better performance in the with Oracle setting compared to the without Oracle setting, the success rate of resolving issues in the with Oracle setting is still relatively low. For example, GPT-4 only achieved a resolution rate of 1.74% on the SWE bench dataset. To understand why the efficacy is limited in the with Oracle setting, we looked into the instances where the resolution failed. Through this investigation, we identified two factors that could affect the success rate, the location of the modified line within the code file and the complexity of the code change. This information is crucial and is provided in the code changes of each commit in the code repository. A typical code change consists of multiple modified hunks, each specifying the line numbers that need modification and the details of the changed code at those locations. Both the line locations and the changed content contribute to the evolution of a repository. To validate our findings, we analyze the relationship between the success rate of issue resolution and these two factors, line location and code change complexity. Section Summary In this section, we conduct an empirical analysis of large language models, LLMs, in resolving GitHub issues under two settings, with and without an Oracle, exploring the impact of factors like line location and code complexity on issue resolution rates. We propose a novel LLM-based multi-agent framework, Magis, to enhance GitHub issue resolution by leveraging collaboration among different agents, achieving significant performance gains compared to popular LLMs like GPT-4. Our study highlights the importance of factors such as code change planning, line location within files, and the code review process in improving the effectiveness of LLMs in resolving GitHub issues. Section. Line Location. In this section, we quantitatively analyze the accuracy of line localization in our code changes. We base our analysis on the range of line numbers in the modified content, assuming that the correct location of the code change is usually unique. By comparing the line number ranges between the generated and reference code changes, we can determine how accurately the lines are located during the generation process. For each code change instance, we represent the line number ranges in the reference code as a set of intervals, and similarly for the generated code change. The overlap ratio between these ranges gives us an idea of how well the lines are located. We calculate this overlap ratio using a formula that measures the intersection between the line number intervals. In our experiments with GPT-4 on 574 instances, we observe the distribution of overlap ratios between the generated results and the reference code change. The distribution on the left side of the figure, near an overlap ratio of zero, is highest for all three models. This suggests that the models struggle to accurately locate the lines that need modification. On the right side of the figure, near an overlap ratio of one, the models show a consistent ranking, with Claude 2 performing the best, followed by GPT-4 and then GPT-3.5. This ranking aligns with the proportion of instances successfully solved by each model, indicating a link between accurate line localization and code generation performance. We also examine the relationship between the overlap ratio and the resolution of GitHub issues by calculating their correlation coefficient. Logistic regression analysis across the three models reveals a statistically significant relationship only in the results generated by CLAUDE2. The positive coefficient on Claude 2 indicates a strong relation between improvements in the overlap ratio and the likelihood of successfully resolving issues. This highlights the importance of precise line localization in resolving GitHub issues. Next, we consider the complexity of the code change, which is reflected in various indices such as the number of modified files, functions, hunks, and lines added or deleted. We assess this complexity quantitatively by calculating these indices for the reference code change and then analyze their correlation with issue resolution. 
All three models show a significant correlation with issue resolution across several indices, with negative correlations for the number of files and functions modified. This suggests that a more complex code change, indicated by a higher number of files and functions modified, may impede issue resolution. Claude 2 stands out with lower negative correlations for the number of files and functions modified, indicating its efficiency in generating code changes for issue resolution. However, it also shows significant negative correlations for other indices like the number of hunks and lines of code added, deleted, and changed. This analysis underscores the impact of code change complexity on issue resolution in software evolution, with increased complexity hindering the resolution process. Section Summary In this section, we quantitatively analyze the accuracy of line localization by comparing the line number ranges of generated and reference code changes. We observe that the models have low overlap ratios with the reference in terms of line location, indicating they struggle to accurately locate the lines needing modification. Additionally, we find a significant positive correlation between improvements in the overlap ratio and the probability of successfully resolving GitHub issues, highlighting the importance of precise line location in issue resolution. Section RQ2 What impacts the performance under without Oracle setting? In this section, we delve into our research question about what influences performance in the absence of an Oracle setting. The key difference between having an Oracle and not having one is the need to identify modified files in the latter case. Therefore, the ability to locate files becomes crucial for performance in the without Oracle setting. We use the BM25 method to find relevant code files, which are then used as input for the LLM. After finding these files, we need to choose the top K files or limit the content based on the maximum context length of the LLM. Including more files can improve recall scores, but it also puts more strain on the LLMs. Our study shows that as recall scores increase, Claude 2 experiences a decrease in the resolved ratio. This drop could be due to including irrelevant files or the limited capacity of LLMs to handle longer contexts effectively. Therefore, to optimize LLM performance, it is better to aim for higher recall scores with a smaller set of files, striking a balance between recall optimization and the number of selected files. Moving on to our methodology, we introduce our LLM-based multi-agent framework, Modus, designed for resolving GitHub issues. The framework addresses each issue by implementing the generated code change in the repository. We start by outlining the framework structure, followed by explaining the roles of each type of agent and how they differ from human workflows. Lastly, we describe how these roles collaborate within our framework. The architecture of our framework involves four key agent roles working together, manager, repository custodian, developer, and quality assurance, QA, engineer. The manager is responsible for team formation, meeting organization, and planning. The repository custodian locates relevant files in the repository based on the GitHub issue and records repository changes. Developers participate in planning discussions and carry out tasks assigned by the manager. The QA engineer reviews code changes from developers to ensure the overall repository quality. The collaborative process includes planning and coding stages. During planning, the manager and repository custodian handle the GitHub issue, identify relevant files, define tasks, assemble a team, and plan accordingly. In the coding stage, developers work on their assigned tasks, while the QA engineer reviews each code change for quality. If a change does not meet the standards, the QA engineer provides feedback for revisions until the quality criteria are met or a set iteration limit is reached. Our agent roles are inspired by the GitHub flow, a popular human workflow model in software development. While both human workflows and our LLM-based agent framework emphasize collaboration among individuals with diverse skills, there are distinct differences. We have tailored the roles to enhance efficiency and adaptability. The manager agent decomposes issues into tasks and designs developer teams, improving flexibility. The repository custodian agent locates relevant files efficiently. 
The developer agent can work continuously and complete tasks quickly, leveraging automatic code generation. The QA engineer agent offers personalized feedback to developers promptly, aiming to enhance the code review process and software quality. Section Summary In this section, we focus on our LLM-based multi-agent framework, Modus, for GitHub issue resolution. Our framework involves four key roles of agents, manager, repository custodian, developer, and quality assurance engineer, collaborating in the workflow to resolve each issue efficiently. We draw inspiration from the GitHub Flow human workflow paradigm, emphasizing collaboration among individuals with diverse skills, while tailoring agent roles to enhance team flexibility and adaptability in addressing various issues effectively. Section. Planning. In this section, we engage in the planning process with three types of role agents, the repository custodian, the manager, and the developer. Our process consists of three phases, locating code files, team building, and the kickoff meeting. When we locate code files, the repository custodian uses the BM25 algorithm to rank files in the repository based on the GitHub issue description. The top K files are chosen as potential candidates for further coding. To avoid irrelevant files that can increase costs and reduce the effectiveness of code changes, we filter them based on relevance. Instead of assessing each file's relevance directly, we propose a method that reuses previously requested information to summarize code changes efficiently. During team building, the manager has the flexibility to recruit team members as needed. By analyzing the GitHub issue and breaking it down into detailed tasks for each code file, the manager defines tasks using the LLM. This process results in a collection of developer role descriptions, forming the development team. After building the team, we organize a kickoff meeting to confirm task assignments, ensure collaborative issue resolution, and determine task dependencies. The project manager leads the meeting and generates a main work plan using the LLM. In the coding phase, developers and QA engineers participate. Developers generate QA engineer role descriptions using the LLM and collaborate to modify code files based on task requirements. The code modification process involves determining code intervals to be modified, generating new code snippets, and receiving feedback from QA engineers. This iterative process continues until the code changes meet quality standards or reach a maximum number of iterations. The final code changes are merged into the repository level code change as the issue solution. Section Summary In this section, we see that three types of role agents are involved in the planning process. The repository custodian, the manager, and the developer. The planning process consists of three phases locating code files, team building, and the kickoff meeting. The repository custodian uses the BM25 algorithm to rank code files based on GitHub issue descriptions, filtering out irrelevant files to optimize subsequent code changes by LLMs, while the manager recruits team members and defines tasks based on candidate files, leading to the formation of a development team before organizing a kickoff meeting to ensure task clarity and collaboration. Section experiments and analysis in this section we conducted experiments to validate the performance of our framework we compared it with other popular large language models llms to show how effective it is we looked at its performance in planning and coding processes for our experiments we used the swe bench dataset which contains real software evolution requirements from 12 python repositories the dataset has two context settings, one where the LLM receives files to modify, with Oracle, and another where it needs to find the files itself, without Oracle. We focused on a 25% subset of the dataset, which aligns with results from the full dataset. We chose GPT-4 as the base LLM for comparison due to its strong performance in code generation and understanding. We used the applied and resolved ratio metric to evaluate performance under the with Oracle setting. The applied ratio shows how many code changes can be successfully applied using Git tools, 
while the resolved ratio indicates how many changes pass tests for new requirements. We also use the recall score versus file number curve to measure file locating effectiveness for the without Oracle setting. Our framework outperformed other LLMs significantly, with a resolved ratio of 13.94%, which is 8 times better than GPT-4. Compared to Claude 2, our framework's performance was more than two times better. This demonstrates the effectiveness of our approach in leveraging LLM potential. We also conducted an ablation study to explore scenarios without QA engineer involvement or hints from pull request comments. Even without these elements, our framework achieved a resolved ratio of 8.71%, five times higher than GPT-4. Integrating QA or hints separately further improved the resolved ratio. These results highlight the importance of human input in enhancing issue resolution. Section Summary In this section, we conduct experiments to validate our framework's performance by comparing it with other large language models, LLMs, in processes like planning and coding. We use the SWE bench dataset, containing issues from Python repositories, to evaluate our framework's effectiveness, achieving significantly higher resolved ratios compared to base models like GPT-4 and CLAUDE-2. Our framework demonstrates the ability to enhance issue resolution, even without QA engineers or hints, showcasing improved performance that can be further boosted by integrating human participation. Section. RQ4. How effective is our planning process? In this section, we investigate the effectiveness of our planning process and coding process. We analyze the performance of our repository custodian and project manager agents. The repository custodian agent consistently outperforms the BM25 baseline in finding relevant code files efficiently. The project manager agent's task descriptions aligning with reference code changes show a higher correlation score, indicating better planning direction. For the coding process, we examine the developer's line locating performance and issue resolution across different complexities. Our developer agent excels in line location, preferring high overlap ratios close to 1. The relationship between line location overlap ratio and issue resolution ratio confirms that accurate line location aids in issue resolution. Furthermore, a logistic regression analysis reveals that our model, Magis, handles complexity indices better than the baseline model, GPT-4. The presence of the QA engineer significantly improves the resolved ratio, showcasing their valuable contribution to enhancing outcomes. In a specific case from the Scikit-Learn repository, the QA engineer identified and rectified a coding error related to the K-means algorithm implementation. Their feedback led to the correction of the code, passing all necessary test cases. Both the ablation study and this case highlight the effectiveness of the QA engineer in our framework. Section Summary In this section, we evaluate the effectiveness of our planning process by analyzing the performance of the repository custodian and project manager agents. Our method consistently outperforms the BM25 baseline in finding relevant code files efficiently. Additionally, we assess the coding process by examining the developer's line locating performance and issue resolution, showing that our developer agent excels in accurate line location, which positively impacts issue resolution rates. Section. Statistics and Discussion. In this section, we present statistics and discuss the results of our framework's performance in generating code changes for resolved and unresolved issues. We first look at the complexity of code changes for resolved instances. The statistics show that the code changes produced by our framework are similar in complexity to those written by humans. Our framework can handle modifications involving multiple files, hunks, and lines, demonstrating its effectiveness in resolving complex issues. We also observe that our framework tends to add more lines, especially comments, compared to human written solutions, which can be beneficial for software evolution. For unresolved instances, our framework can generate code changes involving multiple files and hunks, with modifications spanning a wide range of lines. However, these changes have not passed all potential test cases, indicating room for improvement. 
The distribution of code change lengths for unresolved instances suggests that our framework may prioritize removing problematic code over adding new code, unlike human developers. Comparing the statistics of resolved and unresolved instances reveals that unresolved cases involve more complex scenarios, requiring further enhancement of our framework's performance. The variability in difficulty across different software repositories also influences the effectiveness of code changes, as shown by the varying resolved ratios across repositories. We also compare our framework with Devon, a software development agent, on resolving issues. Our framework outperforms Devon in resolving a higher percentage of shared issues within a shorter time frame. While the comparison may not be entirely fair due to differences in underlying models and capabilities, our framework's efficiency in resolving GitHub issues stands out. Section Summary In this section, we present statistics on code changes generated by our framework for resolved and unresolved issues, showing that the complexity of code changes closely resembles those written by humans. Our framework demonstrates effectiveness in resolving complex issues requiring modifications across multiple locations and with long context, often providing more comment information in the generated code. Additionally, our method shows strong adaptability in generating applicable code changes, although there is room for improvement in passing all potential test cases and addressing discrepancies in repair strategies compared to human developers. Section Prompt In this section, we discuss how the choice of prompt words can influence the performance of large language models, LLMs, and impact the fairness of the outcomes. Our paper emphasizes the innovative aspects of our framework design and provides practical guidelines for creating prompt word templates to minimize design biases. However, completely eliminating prompt bias is challenging due to inherent biases in the dataset and limitations of API resources. The dataset we used contains a limited range of software types from 12 repositories under SWE Bench, focusing on the Python programming language. Although these repositories are representative, they may not fully capture the diversity of all code projects on platforms like GitHub. This limitation could lead to a lack of coverage for specialized fields or different programming styles, such as microservice architecture or functional programming. As a result, while our framework aims to be versatile across various software types, its effectiveness and applicability may be influenced by the narrow scope of our dataset. Therefore, further validation is necessary when applying our findings to different code repositories. LLMs are pre-trained language models with a vast number of parameters, typically in the tens or hundreds of billions. Examples include the GPT series like GPT-3 and GPT-4 as well as the open-source LLAMA model with parameters ranging from 7 billion to 65 billion. Researchers have extended these models to create enhanced versions with impressive natural language generation capabilities. GPT-4, in particular, has excelled in tasks like code generation, showcasing its potential in software engineering applications. Building on the strengths of LLMs, Researchers have explored the development of LLM-based multi-agent systems to tackle tasks beyond what LLMs can handle alone. For instance, MetaGPT simulates the workflows of a programming team, covering activities from planning to testing by assigning roles like product managers and architects. This approach has outperformed standalone LLMs in various tasks, demonstrating its effectiveness in software development scenarios. Another example is ChatDev a virtual development company that decomposes requirements into manageable tasks for developers to handle collaboratively. Experimental results indicate that ChatDev can efficiently complete small software projects in a short time, emphasizing the synergy between human input and LLM capabilities. However, these efforts primarily focus on initial software creation and may overlook the complexities of code evolution in larger repositories.